The Queensland and Australian Government are continuing to upgrade the Pacific Motorway to bring you safer and more reliable motorway travel. This $750 million project will upgrade an 8km section of the M1 between the Gateway Motorway and Watland Street, including improvements to public transport and cycling routes. By building a better M1, you'll spend less time on the roads and more time at home. The 8 mile planes to Daisy Hill upgrade started construction at the completion of the M1 M3 Gateway Merge in mid 2020. The upgrade will include improvements to public transport and cycling routes, with busway extensions through to Springwood. A new bus station and park and ride facility at Rochdale will provide better transport connections. The South East Busway will be extended from Eight Mile Plains to Springwood, providing more transport options for commuters. The motorway will be widened to a maximum of five northbound lanes between Watland Street and the Gateway Motorway, increasing capacity of the motorway, improving traffic flow and minimising congestion. We'll also be improving pedestrian facilities along the way with better access to safer walking routes. The project will upgrade and widen the Rochdale Road exit, allowing for safer access from the M1. By widening Rochdale Road to three lanes, the project will create greater capacity, better connectivity and less congestion on local roads. A new on-ramp at Lexington Road will create easier and safer entry to the M1 and help to reduce merging congestion. Upgrading connections such as the intersection of Logan and Compton Roads allows for smoother travel onto the M1 and utilising existing infrastructure such as Fitzgerald Avenue to ensure greater public transport connections and reliable travel times. By upgrading the multimodal facilities along the M1 corridor, you'll have more options than ever for finding your way home sooner. We're giving you safer options for accessing the M1 and creating increased capacity for less congestion. We're building you a better M1, jointly funded by the Queensland and Australian Government 